Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 39. It is the 20th of March, 2020. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half-elf druid. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, who's the half-orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitleth Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, my name's Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. There we go. There we go. Okie dokie. So, who remembers what happened last time? We got in the prison! <laughs> no. And then we uh, got out of the prison! Tell me for that. <laughs> that was... That was last time, yeah. That was the last time getting out, but we got into prison in the last, last... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Technically uh, the beginning of the yep. last episode. Um, it was the cliffhanger, okay? It's, uh, uh, it's that uh, thing in an episode that you see at the end of the episode and at the beginning of the next episode, yeah. so it's technically... Previously close. on. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know what year it is anymore. <laughs> um, I know that we ended up uh, thinging. Uh, yes. I know how we ended up finishing, but... I, I mean, we kind of just really started, uh, chatted about with the Prismatic Order, really. Mm-hmm. Anything of note come up with the Prismatic Order? Her name's Prisma. The uh, boss's name yeah. is Prisma. Uh, we told the Nazis who we're working for. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> wow. <laughs> secret police then, right? Yes. <laughs> the secret magic police. Stasi would be closer, I guess, but yeah. yeah. But I mean, technically, so the boss of the Prismatic Order, the head of the Order is... Prisma, yes, that's right. She's like the the person in charge of organizing that. But the boss of that would be Princess Justoria. Just fully. She she did create them. So that obviously she could delegate everything as well because delegation's the true superpower, quite frankly. So, anything else that happened last time? Uh, we got teleported uh, to Golden Citadel mm -hmm. and me decided, yeah, we're not going to fight. So, we then got teleported again. Uh, we're about uh, Horizon-ish, or was it? Glitterhagen. Glitterhagen, right. Yep. We spoke to Zadreka. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he was removed to Glitterhagen, the, the order hall in the city. Or at least you'd hope you were. Because <laughs> cliffhangering on teleports is apparently this this whole season. Um, but yeah, so that's the way to see the world. Maybe not uh, about the world you want to see, <laughs> but it's the way to see the world. Uh, it definitely is a way to see the world, that's for sure. Uh, as for goals, we have get word to GGW about Gil. I'm assuming you're still happy to leave that to play out, Stu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got figure out yeah. how to, I mean, you can change it if you wish, but like, yeah. I can't think of anything anyway, so yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, Scott, you're going to need to change channels because you keep posting on the rules channel. Oh my god, so I do, sorry guys. And I keep deleting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then okay, he's like, oh, we... it's disappeared, yeah. I must have not clicked enter. Yep. <laughs> uh, we've also got uh, figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. He's all happy <laughs> to still go for that. Yeah. Uh, it just sounds like such yeah. like one of those business meet uh, business getaways. Like we're going to do this, guys, as a team. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> as a team, safely, each mm. with two because, meters distance between each other, of course. Because if we're not doing it safely, then we're not having fun. <laughs> Company <laughs> business today is yeah. Yep. Oh man, the business today. It tonight. sounds like a trip from from school. Like I need to bring you back to your parents in one piece, so we need to do everything safely. <laughs> Correction, you do, I don't. We have then got Lair sorry, Arya Lair and Infernal from Crumbar. Still happy to have that in place as well, team. Oh yeah. yeah absolutely. Finger... I mean, it is eventually gonna happen, let's face it. Fingers <laughs> crossed that happens today. <laughs> yeah, I would very much like that. You know, I want to tick things off the box, thank you. Mm -hmm. Of yep. the list. The tracker, yeah. We've also yes, got a one. get the dwarves to help the citadel. Is this a goal the team wanna focus on as well? Yeah. Aye, yeah. because that's where we're heading the now, end, where we're going to get, like, shitted towards, or whatever transport we're taking. Yeah, let's go talk to some dwarves. Okay. 
And then the last one on the list here is figure out Eremos's location. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> if it was figure out where he isn't, that is some, a very easy goal to complete, to be honest. Is he under this table? No! Is he in this cupboard? Uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those are our five also goals not. at the moment, so are any of them changing? Or are you guys happy as is? I think we are happy as is. Everybody else? Yeah, as yeah. is. Good. No, I'm fine. Light. As good, is good, good. Good. Aziz, light! What a fantastic movie. Um, <laughs> anyone that hasn't seen The Fifth Element, how dare you? <laughs> and moving on. Uh, so, meanwhile, swirly golden light starts to dissipate. You're in a darkened kind of room. Uh, as soon as the golden light, as I said, vanishes completely, you've got that kind of you know, I've stood up too quickly, vision, and then all the torches in the room burst into flames so that they're all lighting the actual room itself. It's uh, maybe 25 or 30 foot squarish room. Um, These are on like a slightly raised platform in the middle, and it's just like a big teleport circle, essentially, that you have appeared in, and the walls lined with torches that have all just lit at your arrival. Mm, spoopy. <laughs> Is there anyone else around us? Nope. Just your teammates, obviously. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank God, at least they're there. <laughs> um, like, um, did she... I'm going to be looking around and saying, why don't we just, you know, use our own feet and transport animals to get us places this is all so confusing and i always get dizzy from this Ruya then squawks and she in just agreement. mumbles and mumbles <laughs> and yeah yeah like she and the bird are kind of <laughs> looking at each other kind of like friggin magic um ryan whereabouts is prisma teleporting us to again i know she said but scott can't remember well last time prisma teleported you to the golden order which is where you went and the golden order have now teleported us here yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's what I mean. Good so geez, or what? The old random teleport circle operator man, the telemancer. He mm. was the guy who used like, wait, is this old man Jet? And then yeah, yeah. He sent he set up the ritual to forward you guys on essentially to the chapter hall in Glitterhagen. Yes, which is the one that's like, oh crap, wrong thing. Like there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. I guess we should go and announce ourselves that we are here. In fact, will anyone even actually be here? Mm. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, let's go scout about the order hall and see if anyone's actually there guys mm, sounds like a good idea sorry i'll do that more in ca i'll do that in more in character so crumbar just kind of looks around and go and uh turns to the rest of them and says well let's go announce ourselves and i head towards i'm assuming there's a door yeah there are big double doors at the, uh, the end of the room cool i do to kill bad guy entrance and just push over open both doors and they're pool, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll a strength check? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yay! Oh god. We do athletics we're if you want. for like 10 seconds and we're already breaking shit. Yeah, they don't budge. He's not using his axe. <laughs> Damn it. No, no, I have learned that mistake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will not be repeating it probably for another at least three sessions. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start the countdown here. <laughs> it's one of those signs which is this game has went this many sessions without Crumbar breaking a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking like there will be a point at which for some reason Ryan decides not to give Scott any more like fancy <laughs> <laughs> like, weapons you're done. breaking them. 
Just if, if, he, if he breaks his new magical weapon, he's done. That's it. That's the best of gifts. <laughs> Do I mean, that's that should be difficult to break anyway. Yeah. I feel yeah. like Kumba would have been trying to pull I on the door. I think you're showing a challenge here. <laughs> And, like someone just like walks up, probably probably me because I'm a sarcastic son of a bitch anyway, and just points at the sign that says push. <laughs> like it's the exact opposite. So he's trying to push open the doors, and then you're just like oh, sorry. Make, make the hinges to come in the way. Do that, <laughs> yeah. You just pull them open for him. Yeah. <laughs> just like, like, uh... <laughs> I'm just like oh, goodness me. <sighs> anyway, we head out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is. This is familiar, like, um, you've been here before, obviously, the Glitterhagen Order Hall, so it should be relatively familiar for you guys. As soon as you maybe get into yeah. the, the hallway, you probably start recognising the layout. I mean, I don't know, I don't even remember how the doors work. <laughs> yeah. but to be fair, you've maybe never been in this room before, like, this is like a, a pretty big deal. Like... Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, let's go with that excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, That's not embarrassing fully. Teleporting people around the world is very, very, very rare. Quite frankly, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's almost like Zedreka was like, "Yeah, I actually need you guys to go do something useful, so please go do something useful that isn't here." Um, <laughs> you could probably guess as well. Like, let's just like kind of have a nice wee flashback to that as you're doing your montage of walking through the halls. Um, probably Reach and Crumbar can come to this conclusion fairly quickly or naturally. The rest can obviously, if you want to roll on it, you could do so about insight. But the as I said, teleporting across the world, big deal. You could probably guess that Zedrika didn't want you guys to just join the fight at the Abyss based on the way she was acting. Like, because that's almost like a waste mm. of resources, right? Or she really wanted us out of the way. It's one of the yeah. other, but yes. <laughs> yeah, like, you could read it either way, but she isn't specifically... Yeah. She's seen how useful you have been thus far, given just what you said to her, right? Like, I mean, Gil wouldn't have taken just MD into the, the Abyss with him. You guys actually came back from the Abyss. Uh, Arya probably has no idea either way, quite frankly. Nope. Um, but yeah, it's, it is something that like you two could probably pick up on, which is she wouldn't have used this method of transport if it didn't mean that she felt there was merit to it. Um, she obviously wasn't willing to start a into a kingdom issue, shall we say, with uh, the dwarves <laughs> by just teleporting you straight into Forge. Because um, again, that's like yeah, a that potentially a one-way trip and also perhaps a quick way to make new characters so <laughs> yeah but as we all know we've got random Ooh, lobster dwarven here. characters yes <laughs> random lobster. oh random lobster <laughs> to be fair starting the game from the perspective of the dwarves would be interesting it's like what's going on oh, I don't know okay <laughs> when they don't hear splat 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 yeah. splat splat <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there <laughs> it's all play the operators of the telemancer room yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so you explore the place. Um, yeah, it seems like you're the lonely ones here. Hmm. In the entire building? Yeah. What? I'll just turn to Reach and go... Like, after having a wee scan about or turn to Reach and just say, just like, well, I assume that the re this... Uh, or this... Uh, What's the building that we're in called? The Order Hall. Yeah, uh, I guess this order has been a uh, relocate. Dis yeah, dispatched to the breach as well. I hope it's to the breach. If it's something nearby, then we've got more trouble. Oh, but yeah, but something serious has happened. <laughs> the music plays those notes of "Oh shit." <laughs> 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 oh dear. By the way, is this the zombie city, by the way? <laughs> Insofar as you have named it that, yes. <laughs> yes, right, yes, yeah, so I was just thinking. Sorry, that, zombie right. city? It was the one where we've left the infected people. Oh, yeah! Right, so oh, man, that's going to be... be... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. yeah, this is the city with the Rainwood Estate grounds as well. <laughs> well Let's... Uh... Yeah, let's uh, approach with caution then outside. Yes. Mm. After you, sir. Can I have a look to see and try to figure out if this has been left in a hurry or if it's like, you know. Yeah, general we'll investigate and we'll, we'll come to that conclusion. The next day or something like that. Good idea. Yeah, give a wee investigate check. No, I know nothing. 
I, I, I probably saw, like, I don't know, stuffed animal somewhere on a wall, and I got really pissed off about that, and I didn't see anything um. after that. Are the torches all controlled by Alexa? One second, Scott, lift your mic above your nose. Oh, Stop. sorry, I had my hand on my face. <laughs> it just we had this nice pulse going, and it was, uh, I was going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that, or it was like the goddamn detectors in Alien. Um, but sorry. yeah, uh, it seems like it, obviously the place, just the torches light as you are near them. Like, it's almost right, like energy efficient yeah. lighting. Yeah. Okay. Magic that mm. way, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah okay. if somebody else wanted to help or investigate, somebody else can roll as well. I don't mind I if would love other person rolls, help. yeah. Yeah, someone. Do you want me to roll? Or yeah, you, that, can, you said you were helping, so yeah, you can roll. Investigation. Yeah, that's a well, much better one. I can tell you what time of day they left. And it makes sense <laughs> that Reach understands the layout of the place better given it is a Golden Order, Order Hall, right? Um versus a druid trying to understand that but the the gist of it is yeah the place was cleared out in general like it doesn't look like people were rushing out of the door like, it just looks clean. like things like this is like if it if resources are moved around between different halls it just looks like there's nobody here anymore it doesn't look like there was struggle things haven't been like tipped over like it's everything's relatively in order quite frankly. For an order hall, that's pretty good. But the... I don't even know, like, you can ask questions, right? You ask me questions, I'll see what I can answer based on that. And to get any well, questions about the hall you want yeah, to ask? So, there's no real equipment here, but I don't know. Where are we? Reception hall, kind of thing? Uh, you uh, can be at the front reception if you want to have met up there, yeah. There was a sign-in book, wasn't there? Is that there is, yeah. There, there was a sign-in book. Um, yeah. It's, like, sat at the reception desk, just like underneath, like in one of the kind of shelves, and um, you can pull that out. You can have a look through it. It's just wow. the different or like the different paladins that have signed in and out, right? Okay. And generic people that like civilians that have maybe come in. Um, that's it. Nothing that stands out. Any dates? Uh, like oh, of course, uh, like everything. Every sign in is dated. Like each page is like a day of. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Um, is it just like yesterday, or is it weeks ago, or? Uh, the last sign in would have been let's see probably a month ago. Right, quite a while. Right, okay. Like give or take a week, but yeah, yeah, probably about a month ago. That's ominous, but okay, right? Yeah. Uh, Still works I was gonna say, like I guess your names aren't that far up the list, quite frankly. Since right, last years yeah. were here. Do you know what I mean? Because remember there was only a few yeah. people here anyway the last time. These were all here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Any other questions have... you want to ask? You can probably ask an hour two at least. I'll see what I can I answer. Can't think of anything offhand. Can anybody else just yeah. roughly? Anybody yeah. anything else you want to learn about what Reach could have discovered during his investigation of the Order Hall? Mm. Sorry. Uh... You don't have to. It's just if he's had a question, so I just don't have anything else I instinctively want to tell you. So. No, that's can't think. good. Nah. Well, um, when you're at the... Obviously, the reception area, the door's out. Actually, one other thing, sorry. Any of the villagers we brought back, we, do we know any of their names? I'm just curious if I, if I recognise any of their names on here, but I don't... I don't think you just do. Bothered with yeah. Names, but, right. Like, no, there would be nothing like that on there anyway, even if you right. did ask. So, like, you might... Maybe you just know one or two of the names, but to be honest, only really are you took the time to speak to them yeah. really <laughs> um, I know right um, I'm the only one with any empathy <laughs> it's actually not a skill in fifth ed sadly and, uh, the, <laughs> I'm I know, joking harsh. but yeah <laughs> but no it doesn't seem like that like you could probably guess from the way people's names are formed right from like city names versus like you know village names it's nah can't your guess would be that not really many people beyond the normal amount of visitors would have turned up, right? Um, and some people just come to the Order Hall to, like, praise the Great Gold Worm, right? Even yeah. though it's a case of, oh, hi, is this where we come to pray? And they're like, yeah, no, this isn't where you, you come <laughs> to pray. <laughs> this is an office. Sign the book and yeah, all. yeah. Like, he, <laughs> he, one day he might read the book, one day he probably <laughs> won't. You know, <laughs> he's a big fucking I mean, dragon. I mean, if, if we can't even get in contact with him, I doubt he's going to bother coming to read a well, book. Well, as I say, it's, like it's, it's unusual for anyone to have contact with him. 
right? That's just the standard. The fact that you've met him is huge. Mm. So, like, what did what did he do? His time all day there. Good stuff. <laughs> Good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to roll religion actually, and you can try and work that out, Crumber? Yeah, let's batter in. <laughs> Yeah. Your religion, I, would hope it's I didn't even know there was one. Oh my god, there totally is. Yeah. This game has everything. Yeah, yeah! Oh. Check me! Oh my Amazing. god. Do you want to answer us? You've got powerful insight. What? God stuff. I hate <laughs> you so much, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but you know nothing about the Great Gold War, you know, even though you've served them, right? Like, there's. He put people in charge of the Order Hall, I like the, the Golden Citadel, to do the job, right? This is kind of like when people go, oh, what does the, the actual wizard king do? Like, wizard stuff, right? King stuff. <laughs> like, he, you delegate, right? Um, you know, Gil runs the Golden Citadel. The Golden Citadel overlooks all the order halls. And then all the order halls run their own troops of paladins that are assigned to them from the Citadel. And then that's it. If demon stuff shows up somewhere, they'll assign people between them. You know, it's so maybe what the teleport circles are primarily for is, oh god, there's an invasion at this place. Move everybody there. Um, kind of like um, Doctor Strange. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly like that, in fact. There you go. Um, loads of bold Tilda Swinton's walking about, you know. That's just mm -hmm. how it works. But, yeah, maybe it just dawns on you how lucky you've been to actually have like met with the great mm. Odyssea. You know, so yeah. As 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 I was saying though, you are in the you all kind of gather in the kind of front reception hall thing, and the doors that you would have walked in that are normally obviously open. It's like a big kind of stone archway. Um, there's like a kind of shimmering door in its place. It almost looks like a kind of see-through, faint equivalent of big heavy stone wooden doors. Yeah. Um, very similar to what you saw on Horizon for the order hall there, but only from the outside. So it looks like there's like a weird, thinly veiled door from the inside looking mm. out. And you can see obviously the, the city streets outside. City streets empty or is there people in them? Yeah, people are walking around. They're not zombie looking either. Right, that's yeah. good. That's, <laughs> that's walking, very good. not running. That's mm. yeah, all very good. Right. Probably have just going to join the fight then. Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, like, I mean, based on your investigation check, it, it's safe to say that this place wasn't abandoned. It was just closed for business, for it's foreseeable, right? And based on what Zedrek has said, based on what pretty much every day that has noticed you guys have been paladins has said, yeah, well, hasn't everyone been recalled to the Golden Citadel? So, you can assume that you are probably the only two paladins with agency at the moment. Wow. Uh... Mm. We are special. We are the law now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like that Arya just uh, has yeah. given herself, <laughs> you know. I'm joking. The, the wildlife druid kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> the <judge said> quote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, and I'll never do that impression again. So, carrying on, uh, what do you do, right? You, you can all have gathered in the as I said, the reception. You have come to the conclusion you are alone in the Order Hall and it hasn't been abandoned for any nefarious reason. Uh, okay, so we want to head north. Uh, we've got everything we can carry. Is there any stables in the Order Hall? Not in the actual hall, so there'll be no one. Uh, no. I would no, hope they'd take the horses with them if they were. Cause, you know, hoping they might you be wouldn't one or two leave left, the but... horses here to die. No, like the... Paladins don't really keep horses that way. Um, strangely, yeah, like they would. Party, right? Pretty much, so the, no... pretty much the like. A, oh, what is his name? Is it Lorian? I think his name was whatever the paladin that you just went to save from the infection. Remember? Um, yeah, yeah. Like obviously, I don't think he's ever found that guy's like method of travel, but it was assumed he got a horse and went north, right? So, yeah, he probably just hired it from somebody in the city. So is the city completely empty then? No. No, there's people walking about. Ah, oh, right, okay. But so from what you can see through the weird veiled doors of the Order Hall, there, there are people outside, yeah. 
Mm. At the moment, I think we just want to start trekking north. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I doubt we're going to find any horsey transport. Actually, it sounds like we could, and I was debating about that. Yeah. So it sounds like the city's acting as normal. We won't find well, it. Uh, I mean, you could literally uh, go yeah. wandering around the city and just spend some time trying to work that out if you want. Like, you could take a couple hours and actually just wander around the city to see. If yeah, because a few hours here could save his days there. Yeah, because if we don't have horses and stuff, it's... then you know we're pretty much just going to be like, yeah, let's walk for an entire session. Yeah, just like the Hobbit movies. <laughs> in, in a year, you've still not learned how D&D works. <laughs> I'm joking. I wonder what the steps counter would be for this game, quite frankly, because yeah. you've covered a lot of distance and not a lot of time, quite well, frankly. Yeah. Um, thanks to hammers and such. Especially yeah. if the uh, teleport's count is like 10 million steps in yeah. that direction. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, dis so. distance travelled, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... What's the plan? Do you want to spend some time in the city? Um, yeah, it's worth it. we've got money. It's worthwhile spending it. It'll save us. Okay. Yeah. Um, have a swatch to see if we can find some horses or see if her cart in that is still here. See if a cart is still here. It was ours. Or they can't. We we brought oh, it. The cart. I mean, yeah. all that stuff was left behind. I'm afraid that was many, that was like practically a month ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, either way, we need some. Put this way: see if you've left anything with the the order hole here. You can guarantee it's been taken to the Golden Citadel, right? So if you've had left, say, five horses, they're mm -hmm. probably at the Citadel. If you've had left a cart, it's probably at the Citadel because it wasn't in the order hole. Or it's been just sold to some random merchant. Yeah. Do you know it's I mean? like, well, they stole all our money. We're going to sell their th stuff. Yeah. And to be fair, you are relatively well off, right? You do have money. Yeah. Um, by the way, that boat trip was going to be really expensive, it turns out. It was actually going to be ridiculously expensive um, when I started calculating it because the travel for boats is crazy. So that two silvers or whatever it was nonsense I said was a very fantastic deal. So never question beyond that um, mm -hmm. <laughs> holy people think of us all everything cheap <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah it's up to you what you just want to do uh, obviously Kitlith might want to avoid a certain stall when she's in town um, the, the bras brazier yeah. stall <laughs> <laughs> the brazier list stall yes um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, you've got obviously that blacksmith's that was here, um, which was, um, was it Flux, something in Flux, or whatever it was called, mm -hmm. um, with uh, Roberta, the dwarf. Um, yeah, you have got the whole city at your disposal, really. What do you just want to do? Any particular activity you wish to get up to in the city, or is it just wander around? Blacksmith should know where those horses are. Yeah. Try and find, but yeah, basically just try and find, um, yeah, transport. Yeah, I mean, that's easy enough. I think we've been through the, the transport prices mm -hmm. before. Let me open the book again, shall I? To find out how awful those prices are. Okay, so let's see. Where are we? I feel like I should just bookmark this page, quite frankly. Travel, travel, travel. Travel, mounts and vehicles. Travel, travel, travel. Cool. So, riding horses or draft horses. Uh, so you've got 50 gold for a, a draft horse, 75 gold for a riding horse. Um, and then you've got a cart or a carriage. So a cart is only 15 gold. Um, a chariot is 250 gold if you're on the travelling style. Um, <laughs> I'm just, just going to say that. 
obviously you've got like saddles, you've got um, saddle bags to carry more shit. You can get a wagon for 35 gold. Um, obviously that could double up as a tent, I guess, a wagon. So Yeah. Um, obviously the waterborne vehicles aren't really going to be that useful, but you could get a galley ship for 30,000 gold. Uh, just how you get that into the fucking snowy mountains, <laughs> I don't know. But that'd be an interesting adventure. Well, what? Well, we'd only need, like, two horses and a cart, really. Yep. That would be slow going, but you could definitely have two horses and a cart, yeah. I mean, that's what? 30 gold for the car. Uh, sorry, for the... Where are we here? 50 gold per horse, and then 15 gold for the cart. Just out of curiosity, how quickly do um, horses and stuff go? Uh, 40 feet for a draft horse and 60 feet for a riding horse, but if you're carrying a cart, it's probably going to be like walking speed, let's face it. That's just to let you drag m more shit. Sure, okay. No, because honestly, I was trying to see if it would help in any way if I would spend most of like each day's walk like besides the cart in panther form just running around like running along because mm. i see my how long do you get to spend in your panther form though isn't it like an hour let me check i think it depends on which level i am and that sort of stuff it might do yeah one five seven right so travel stuff's on player handbook one five seven i'll just dump that in the rules chat so that Yep, yep, yep. All this shorthand stuff. I'll check in a moment. Yeah, so you just have a look around. You obviously get the prices of this stuff from different places. Um, everywhere is pretty much the same as per the unified pricing laws of the player handbook. <laughs> what's the... what's the thoughts? I see a horse each. Try and get... keep the speed up. Yeah, just get a horse each then. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. Then go absolute horsey to it. Horsey about. Ten platinum's one gold, isn't it? Uh, no, one platinum is ten gold, but I think that's what you meant. Platinum, right? Yeah, I did. Right, cool. Yep. Yeah, I can only be a panther two hours at a time, so it's not helpful. Three platinum. I can afford that. Is that all it is? Yeah. It's okay. fifty gold for a horse. Or oh, fifty, sorry, five yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Fifty gold for Still. a draft horse, which is forty feet. Five. Which I think is faster than most of you, except Stu. Actually, yeah, hold on. For a draft horse, what's the fast horse? The riding horse is seventy five. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seventy five well, draft horses. Yeah, make one riding horse. I don't have There's enough. A, there is a slightly better ah. horse. Which is a war horse, which is four hundred gold. Right, what have you done? Well, like? rub it in our nose, won't you? You should have about at least forty platinum, I would think. Yeah, I've got thirty six. Right, that's three hundred and sixty gold. Oh right, I thought. Times it by ten. Remember, so you had a zero. Right. Gained. Yeah. Okay. I done math wrong. Never mind. Scott's going home. I think even that's worth it. It's. Just remember, you'd need to obviously have food it's for them and such, no. but like, so long as Arya. And... 40% or whatever. I'm rationed out the. Booty, That's what I mean, like, so... I think. 50% you're saying is 40 and, th and 60, so yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, for speed wise. Right. Go for the full horse, four of them, yeah. <laughs> full horse? <laughs> you never go full horse. <laughs> 75. Uh, half, half horse? Times. Four, isn't it? Because there's only four of you. So there you go. Whatever that works out to be. So three hundred twenty-five or something like that. Is that um, four to seventy-five gold? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to seven gold. It's seven platinum, five gold. By the way, yeah. That. Put that to that, then go. What I do find confusing though is what well, is 100 copper to one triangle? Which is the weird one, isn't it? 
And it's so the way it works is I'm ignoring Electrum, right? Yeah. Which is the Reliant. like really the, the strange like fifty p of the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> because fuck that noise. But on your sheets, you've got the square copper. You've then got the silver triangle. We ignore the the Electrum. And then you've got the gold piece, which is the weird hourglass shape thing, and then the platinum piece at the bottom. So, and it's a factor of ten between each, ignoring Electrum. Each one? Yeah. Uh, okay, I oh. get rid of this. Yeah, ten, one. ten, ten, and ten, and ten. Yep. Ten. Factor is a ten. Remember, again, in my magical world, the currency, as per the king's decree, is all magic. So, you can tap money up. Yay! Because that's the thing video games teach us, and I like that. I wish that was a real thing. Yeah. I also wish I had enough money. You can do what with it, useful. sorry? So, in, obviously, video games, when you get like 100 gold or whatever it is, and it becomes the next yeah. currency up automatically, that doesn't happen in real world situations, right? Mm. Because you just, yeah. money doesn't change what it is, unless you're yeah. a money changer. Oh, okay. Okay. But in this world, the official currency is magical. So, sure. if you've got gotcha. 10... Ten silver pieces in a in a stack. You can pile them up and tap them three times as sure. a stack, and they'll become one gold and piece. And it becomes one gold. Gotcha. Yeah. Because the wizard king wanted fancy money, and also because Ryan thought of this idea when he ran the sequel to this game, but he thought of it halfway through the game, and he thought the game isn't really about money, so I'm not going to add it in halfway through because that's kind of lame. Yeah. So I'm, then I decided to do a prequel game, and I thought, perfect, that money idea's gonna work. I yeah. like money. Give me two seconds, I have a green update thing, I'm gonna go to click that and then maybe never hear from you again, so BRB. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> I'm back. Hello again. Hey. Right. Also, you don't add a horse to inventory, Scott. You just know you have a horse. <laughs> you just horse. You just, <laughs> you just have a horse. Yes. Okay, so I'm probably so, right. so what kind of horse did people get? Just out of a riding horse. Fast horse. It was a 75 yeah. gold horse, so a riding horse. Okay. Has everyone done the maths um, on their sheets to afford such a thing? Yeah, but it, I'm trying anyone... to figure out. Okay, one sec, one sec. Can anyone not afford it? So 75 gold, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Or 7 of the top one and 5 of gold. If you Depends how you're splitting it up, but yeah. I actually don't think Adri can afford it. Or Arya, so I should say. I Excuse shy. me? I think you're shy. So isn't the one at the very bottom, isn't that 60... Like, isn't the one at the very, very bottom? Oh, it's 61. Dear gods, you do have a lot. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Six hundred and ten gold. I forget yeah. how much you stole from villagers. Getting. That's what... <laughs> I forget Shh. how much you stole. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot to <laughs> like, put that Blood back. money, this is. This is Orkin blood money. It is. <laughs> oh shit, we're such horrible people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, who knew the life of an adventurer who was a bit more callous is more profitable? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, we'll rescue you. For a fee. <laughs> <laughs> there are people shouting outside my house and I'm like it's either people playing or somebody's getting murdered probably both yay playtime is murder time <laughs> could be right let me know when you're finished with your maths I'm um, all good bruh Adri, all good? It, ignore me, my brain is not on right now, so I actually had to sort things out, so... Okay. I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there, don't worry about me. No, we can do it, like, as a team, what do you need to do? Just work out how much you need to lose on your money? Or have you done that part already? What I did was I took 11 platinum which gives me 110 mm -hmm. gold and that combined with my 12 gold that I had makes 122 
and then from there I'll deduct 75. Okay. I figure that's the easiest way. Yeah, can do that for you. Okay. And you maybe want to tap it back up as well. Because you could make 120 of that gold become 12 platinum. Eh, I'll, I'll leave things the way they are. I'm okay with it right now. It should eventually light it, but not by much, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. So you could make that 47 just become 7 gold and a like 54 total platinum. and 54 yeah done yeah. it yeah there we go that's I, I just had to do it in a rounded yeah, way that's fine, and then... yeah. as long yeah. as it works yep we're good it's uh, it's really funny the person that did advanced mathematics can't do simple algebra but oh well that's what always happens anyway sorry about that that's okay um let's see i'm assuming everybody's buying themselves a saddle as well yeah yeah. I mean, yeah, how much is that? <laughs> there's, apparently there are various saddles. There's exotic, military, pack, and riding. Um, why there are so many, I don't know, actually. Um, what one but, is for Crumbar? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pack or riding, I'm curious what's the difference. Yeah. I don't know. I, cost, but I don't know what the actual like written difference is. I'm actually trying to see if that is... Saddle, a military saddle braces the rider, helping... Keep your seat in an active mountain battle, it gives you an advantage, make checks. An exotic saddle is required for riding any aquatic or flying mount, these are fine for that. So essentially pack or riding should be fine, and a pack is 5 gold and a riding is 10. I'm trying to see if there's actually a definition between the two to see if... Yeah, if there's... A reason to go for the riding one. Yeah. I have a funny feeling that the draft horse is meant to have the pack and the riding horse is probably supposed to have the riding mount uh, saddle, but... That would make sense. It doesn't I mean, actually think... see. It, literally, I'm working with that sentence, or that several sentences I read out about saddles. Yeah. Okay, and I take a saddle as well. So Does Arya need one, actually? Uh, all the horses would need them. Uh, okay, not yeah. definitely be a black rubber. Not yeah. even a druid. You probably could. It probably just tires the horse out more, right? Since these aren't exactly, you know, druid trained horses. Yeah. I mean, I can speak to the horse, though, so I'm guessing it's gonna. That's when help it ends up unionizing. Like you end up having then... to pay it even more. It gets like, you know, <laughs> hazard pay. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's it's probably gonna work with me a bit better because you know we can speak so are you pack or riding saddle what are you buying it's i don't know what everybody else is buying i'm not fussed cool grumbar pack or riding we'll just get a riding one then yeah cool. 10 gold it is then if everybody just wants to buy a riding one yeah 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 cool so i'll assume you'll yeah, all make, deal makes, with that makes things cool. Who is brave enough to name their horse now? Mm. <laughs> or shall we leave them unnamed for now? Nathan. Okay. Ooh. I'm calling mine's horse. <laughs> horse. <laughs> you know, that's going to get very confusing for the other horses that identify as horses. <laughs> Just saying. I will go for John Bond Pony. Okay. <laughs> Love it. So everybody's got a riding horse and a riding saddle. That probably makes the most sense. So are we adding that to the infantry or just... I just know you have it. Like, it shouldn't be uh, particularly difficult. We just know we bought the riding set, as it were. And obviously you just need to account for them when these are feeding. But that shouldn't really be a problem because you've got two outlanders with you. So <laughs> you should be sorted for all that nonsense. Okay, you now have horses, right? So what else do you want to get, if anything? I don't think. Well, you might want warm weather clothing, but uh, no. You might want cold weather clothing. You mean? Cold weather, yeah. Aye. Mhm. Mm Cause. Uh. Yeah. Will that have an effect on us? I mean, it helps. Oh. Yeah. Like, if you if you wear poorly chosen clothing, for the 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 weather, yeah. Like, if mm. you are a 
person covered in 40 bear skins and you're fighting in the desert, you will get exhausted. If you are naked and affected by the weather and you go up into the frost ranges of the north, which is where you are kind of heading, then yeah, these will freeze. Like Okay, I would like one crumbar sized fluffy jacket. The pink snorkel. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Just, oh dear. Uh, let's see. Clothing. Clothing, clothing, clothing. Yeah, that'll do. Where are we? <laughs> I can't see anything specific other than traveler's clothes because I'll pay two gold to get traveler's clothes and would just count that as warm weather or cold weather clothes, I should say. I was gonna say, I'm like, which one is? Now, do you just want to buy a tent? I've got. As wait, well? I've got traveler's clothes. If you've got more, you won't need them then. Yay! Same. Um. Tent could be a good idea. Yeah, two person tent is two gold. I mean, I doubt anyone wants to share a tent with me, so I'll just get one to myself. I was thinking of doing the same obviously. for me and Ria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, add them to your inventories and spend your gold. Two gold for a tent. Yep, yep. Obviously, I know you have a druid that's pretty good with fire, but if you wanted to have more ways of making fire, I think some people have tinder boxes and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, I've yeah, got yeah, tinder boxes. Yeah, good. I think also just as a, you know, you've got fire if you need a, a push kit list as well. Yeah, I got some fire hands. <laughs> Watch out, burn. Just trying to think if you need anything else. Um. Potions of healing, anyone? I'm good for potions, I think. Yeah, I I've still got have three. Four. Everybody got rope as well, because if she's going to go climbing, right? Yeah. Uh, I have. I got, got rope, got my toast, got. Got my explorer's pack. I need to figure out what that one has. Oh, I have hemp and rope. You can also buy climbing kits as well, if that was something you cared about. It says here, a climber's kit includes special pitons, a boot tips, gloves, and a harness. You can use the climber's kit as an action to anchor yourself, and then when you do, you can't fall more than 25 feet from where you were anchored. Um, and you can't climb for more than 25 feet from where you were anchored without undoing it. That's not the worst idea either, if you cared about stuff like that. Or you're just going to get Crumbar to ease up the, the mountain. I'm not really sure what the plan was. <laughs> no, exactly. But... Like, where we're going, do we know the lay of the land? Have we looked at the map or do we have knowledge of it? No. That's my gotcha. summary to that. You are going into like, thinking, the frozen thinking about Thinking about last time when we're, I tried to do climbing, yeah, how much are they? And I'll... I had 25 gold for a climber's kit, but keep in mind, uh, is the plan just to get to Anvil, the Dwarven City, first? Yeah. Right, so you could also try and get stuff there as well if you wanted to. Yeah, right, right, yeah, let's just yeah, get, let's just, let's just day the boost and head out. Mm -hmm. And you can get to Anvil first and then decide what you want to do, because from Anvil you'll then maybe want to try and get to Forge through the underground kind of yeah. woods, essentially. And, and not die. And not die, yes. <laughs> Um, you can let me know, obviously, if you have wanted to retroactively pick up anything that isn't complete bullshit. Uh, like, did MDLs buy a tent, for example? I have, but I'm just... I bought a tent. So I'm going to put on my horse, but obviously it's in my inventory, so it's adding weight on. But that's... Which is a problem, by the way, so we're all very loaded. I was going to say, you can all buy saddlebags if you wanted. And I'm thinking for weight, I know. Load it up. That's because you're a fucking paladin. Um, yeah. uh, where are we? Saddlebags just cost four gold. Um, you can load your horse up with stuff. 
I will have to do that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, mate. <laughs> Send your jingles. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm going to call the horse, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But yeah, so saddlebags, four gold, tents, two gold, climbers kits, 25 gold, but those can wait till anvil if you really wanted. Um, could even wait to forge. Obviously, you might pay more for dwarven bullshit, but you know at least it will work if it's dwarven made. Um, yeah. I think that's about it from what I can see as suggestions, at least for you guys. I can't actually find saddlebag, but okay. Uh, just, yeah, it's just, just, sad, yeah, just add it in if you can't find it. It's weird that that wouldn't be there. One word or no. Yeah, that is weird. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would just add it in. There's that into your inventory. Uh, no point putting weight on it because obviously it's on the horse. Y yeah. So horse can if you put that, out. I was going to say, if you put that into your inventory list, um, move everything that's on the horse right. underneath it. Because that makes sense, uh, obviously. But I'd be technically overweight over my it, limit. So change it to aye. zero. So so if you've got your let me just bring up your character sheet. On your inventory list in the middle, if you've got a saddle bag added in, right? Yeah. You should be able to click on the edit tool and then drag it up and down, right? Yeah. So just put everything you want on the saddle bag underneath it. Oh, okay. And make the weight zero for you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Because at least that way you know your horse has got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Your horse will have a limit to what it can carry um, as well, but it's unlikely you're going to overcome that unless you're kitty, to be honest. <laughs> um, it was something like 300 pounds or something. Yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. Like, it's... Um, Carrying capacity. 480 pounds yeah. actually. 480. But that needs to include you. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Unless you're not next to it. You should not limit, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we need to work everybody's weight out, we will. Um, Let, let's not. <laughs> yeah. no. Sometimes you need to, believe it or not. We've not come up against that yet, luckily. Um, but aye, so anything else anyone wants to do in Glitterhagen? This is the final call. Anything else? No. We have paid back mm. uh, so we're okay for that. In the sense that you sat a pair of boots on our table, yeah. <laughs> Morally, I'm good, but yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm all good. Okay. Uh, are you? Any business in Glitterhagen? No, I think I've bought everything I wanted to buy, possibly more. Sophie, any apologies that uh, Kitlith's going to do in the Glitter Haken before she goes? Clear conscience? I technically no? did apologise. I left those fancy boots. Okay. Fancy boots. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. A fancy. That's a word. As far as I'm aware, I'm all paired up. <laughs> <laughs> Son sat at home in his best, best outfit, still wearing <laughs> dead flowers like in his, his hand. Like he's on his first bath in the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's that will be the next campaign, the revenge of the stood up, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the undated. But yes, so you head off um, towards Anvil, yeah. If that was the case, everybody leaves. Yep, yep. Um, obviously, it's, it's going to be a f several days journey. What's the what's the conversation on the way? I try to teach Arya fire tongue nonsense. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> what, right, what? We, we should know by now what the rules are. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, not 20. Nope. 
That's because I used it on religion and bloody history. Yeah, you were so historical last time and you were so religious this time. (laughs) So he rolls performance and do I even roll considering... Yeah, I still want you to roll. It's like, it is a two-part process. Because I want to know how well you were doing regardless of him, if that makes sense. Because sometimes people can be the, you know, the first couple of sparks to the inferno that eventually happens. You know, you're you're gonna hate me right now, Arcana. but I was kind of hoping you'd say no because I totally f- Arcana. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Ooh. So, despite obviously Crumbar's inability to teach, like <laughs> you're showing fairly competent use of what he has taught you so far. Yes. But I, like, we can we can say that's probably the first couple of days of you guys actually trying to practice or whatever. Yeah. Um, and we can come back to you guys. Um, cool. You can definitely at least roll, depending on how much time passes in this session. Again, mm. in a bit. But what's everybody else up to? What's, like, Kitlith and uh, Reach up to while they're having their... Is there any actual, like, stratagem being discussed about the upcoming plan to go speak to a a white dragon about a red dragon. <laughs> Never mind, get through the dwarven part of that plan. That's a good point, was it? You know, uh, we were wanting to talk to people about dragons. Mm-hmm. Probably the reason why we're going north. Yeah. <laughs> Turned back to Glitterhagen, gets anti dragon kit. <laughs> <laughs> anti dragon spray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dragon Actually, repellent. That makes- so we need repellent and attractant. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like attracting. It's a blue one. No, go away. Shh. <laughs> I mean, dragon repellent should totally be a thing. It uh, should be. Yeah. It's, it is. It's a bigger, scarier dragon. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, BRB, I need to Google something quickly. <laughs> How to turn Crumbar into a dragon. I actually don't know if you can at this point. You can be turned into a dragon, I think. Yeah. I Someone could turn. Yeah. I'll, I'll make it work. Yeah. It's a little bit beyond Daria yeah, at the moment, but not yeah. much. Yeah. As I said, there is True Polymorph, which is a high level spell. And when you're level 20, you get to pick something with the same CR rating as you. So mm-hmm. you could pick something with CR 20. And one of the White Dragon stat blocks is CR 20. So. Yeah. What? Yeah. Paladins can turn into dragons? Anyone can be turned into a dragon. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's, let, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Or you could just save up enough story points with, like, I don't know, the Wizard King. And ask him really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a dragon. <laughs> yeah, but that guy sucks fart. <laughs> As you said that, my uh, um, my headphones started making the noise that they do when they lose battery, mm-hmm. and uh, I, it almost felt like it was censoring you. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, sucking farts is another way you can catch coronavirus. By the way, so, so be careful doing that. <laughs> yes. Kids, don't do this at home. <laughs> yep. Also, kids, why are you on this channel? This is not appropriate for you. I have marked these YouTube videos as inappropriate. How dare you? <laughs> Uh, okay, so while they are having fire talk, what what's the conversation between Reach and Kitty then? What's how does that go? Given how much is in there, we're going to need actually talk to the. We're, we're planning going to the Dwarf City anyway, aren't we? I think. So. That's where you're right reading now. to just now. You're heading toward Anvil. Yeah, so we're going to need to talk to them. Hopefully about dragons, and they technically should know more about them, or at least these types of dragons because they're closer. Yeah, they should be more worried about them. Uh, do you want to roll history? And I'll tell you uh, my reply to that. Right. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh, dwarves and dragons don't really have that big a deal, to be honest, uh, in this world. Um, dwarves live underground, so it's never been an issue for them. And dragons are scared of the dark, so... <laughs> <laughs> if Crumbar believes that, Crumbar can believe that. Um, but yeah... Don't- like dig up lots of gold and dragons don't like gold or is none of that kind of thing about them there? Uh, no, dragons do like stuff. Dragons like stuff. It depends on the dragon, what they like, obviously. Um, the 
the general knowledge about dragons would be they hoard stuff and that's it. They'll let you don't take their stuff, right? That's what the generic people like think. However, more in-depth scholars will tell you that it really depends on what which kind of dragon you like. I mean, let's face it, the Great Gold Worm has a giant army of gold people in gold buildings with gold weapons, so it's not that far a stretch to assume he likes gold stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But being a dragon, the um, the city of Axis is obviously controlled and run by like dragon emperors, so like they have a lot of money, quite frankly, as a, a city. Enough to keep the economy of the the kingdom of King Magna going as well, because they are allowed to operate pseudo-independently, right? Um, same as the, the Dwarf Kingdom and Elf Kingdom, or Queendom, I guess. You've got the, the five obviously are considered nefarious and evil and undesirable, but it's not like they give a fuck about what dwarves do underground. It'd be different if if the red or the green or somebody were like, okay, cool, this is my land. They they would maybe just claim the mountain above Forge. But if the dragon wants to sit on the top of the mountain, the dwarves don't give a fuck about that, right? So long as they don't stop anything inside the mountain. So I don't really think the dwarves would give a fuck about dragons, to be honest, obviously. It depends if the dragons decided to start burrowing. That would be a problem. Dragons like the sky. So maybe that doesn't yeah, let, let's 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 try not to get killed by dragons. Uh, any other places on the way or near the way or anything like that? Give, give us the map. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Bam. So, well over to the east. I will uh, add in. What's the triangle to the west? That's where the other one was. So that's over. Anvil there. That triangle I've just added in. Right. And what one do you mean? Uh, that that's where we were, wasn't it? Yeah. So that is the Valley of yeah, Savine. Uh, Hellhole. Yeah, Hellhole. Right, yeah, okay. that's the one where Justoria turned up um, and then went a bit demonic y looking. Right, and that's where we are. Yeah. Where we've yep. just left. Yep, that's Glitterhagen. Yeah. That's the city yeah. of Glitterhagen. So, okay. yeah, you've got Glitterhagen is that one. You've got Axis, which is this one. Hellhole, Savine. This is the one you all walked to that the, uh, the Wizard King was at. That was the hellhole there. This is Horizon. Claire Hagen. This is Shadowport, which is where pirates and the black market essentially exists. Um, and you're heading up here to Anvil. And there is like a trade route, if you will, towards Anvil. So you could follow a road if you wanted to. Um, for the most part, because obviously Anvil and Glitterhagen trade all the time. I mean, Road would probably be the fastest. Yeah, definitely safest as well. As well but... It's more so the safest than the fastest, but it's not specifically slow either, because mm -hmm. trade is money, and dwarves and the city of Glitterhagen enjoy money. Like money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very much that's, that's, so. Yeah. Money makes... But yeah, you're less happy. likely, like if you went straight there, you cut through the Bitterwood Forest, and you'd have been through there, and it's not specifically safe, but you, you would all... Dead we die. And you would pass the relocated remains of the better uh, the, the Bitterwood Estate. Yeah, I guess it's called the Bitterwood Estate now. Um, the Rainwood <laughs> Estate. So, yeah. I, must, yep. I just assume you're going to take the road. Yeah, let's yeah. take road. Yeah, it makes and get, sense. get on trucking. Because as I said, you'll pass other people on the road, right? That's something that will happen. There will be caravans and... I know right now Kitty is thinking about robbing them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just switch to the evil campaign setting for a second. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> add a point to the tracker. And then there we go. 
But yeah, if you're sticking to the road, you're going to be relatively safe anyway. Uh, it's only if you really wander off the road that it matters. And it just depends if you just wanted to try and like make the journey a bit shorter. But that quicker means dangerous. That's it, really. Um, as for that distance, that's probably a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, let me try and work out if I can get you some travel time for this. Because that should exist as a thing I can answer. Let's see. Danger probably does mean XP. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it does, let's face it, because that's how it works. I kind of want to try a danger then. I try a danger. What One of your, your moderate dangers, please. Mild peril, in fact. <laughs> um, like danger light. Killer hamsters. Yeah, that's the we're looking for. Just a flashback. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, it's up, if you want to have a wee, a, a wee cheeky fight, you, you, you can do. It's entirely up to you guys. I mean, it's more so because we, we, we are close to a level, are we not? Yeah, imagine that. Imagine like completing a goal in a bit to get some XP. That's mad. Yeah, so if we complete a goal... And we complete a fight, that should be level. That's optimistic. Plus we would be reading we would be ridding the world of bad things. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting theory, right? So what you use level four just now? Level five? You're level five. Why aren't you s Actually I have no idea what level you five. use. Yeah. Five. 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 We're almost six, so yeah. Yeah. Six is the big one. So let's see. Any size, any type, any CR, any alignment, and let's go. I feel like that would probably kill you guys. What is it? I'm just generating random mass encounters to see what what the game suggests. Hmm? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I mean. It needs to be something that can't just one-shot you guys, you know? That would be difficult. I... Oh. Yeah. It would be difficult, it would be quite easy, but it's going to be very short. <laughs> <laughs> the one-shotting part, yeah, not yeah. so difficult. The uh... Eight giant wasps, you say? No, thank you. <laughs> Eight giant wasps? That was one of the suggestions, yeah. I used to squash wasps with my fingers when I was a kid. Oh god. You I mean, I suppose... sick bastard. Yeah, they stung me back, so it was kind of 50 50. <laughs> but... I mean, it's, I don't even know if I want to continue that. That's fine. I was stung just... eight times one summer, but yeah, it was a learning experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's well, like, horrible. Did, did you think if they stung you enough, you'd gain the ability to fly? Yeah, well, super wasp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, how about well, this then, right? Just want to roll perception, and can everybody do it? And we'll just say this is the travel days. So, everybody, just roll perception for me. Watch out! Well, where were you earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm still trying to think. I lost Perception, yeah? Back here again. Yeah. Paper, there we go. Okay, so it's on Reacher's watch one night. Let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it does mean there have been one, two, three, four. So at least four days. At least. Maybe more. But at least four days, which means if Crumbar and Arya want to have another go at chatting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 watch as we roll a fucking one. That's reasonable, right? That's reasonable. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Is it? Do I know? Do I know? Do I know? Do I think we can probably mark that off now, right? Success! Yay! I taught somebody something. Now pay me. My, now pay me for my troubles. <laughs> <laughs> now teaching the English to say pay me for my troubles <laughs> right so pop that over to the completed goals list 
Watch out. You can go boop. So. There we go. We may as well just do that on the fly. And then you can all add in your 500 XP. Yay! We get 500 XP? So close! So that means 13600? Zero, zero? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes! It does indeed so far. There you go. Right. So. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I think uh, as we've all predicted on Stu's watch, bad things happened. Uh, oh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah, we've not fought in a while. That is true, to be fair. Let me just make uh, a line. I will crackle crackle in Crumbarf's direction. Bang. Mm. From now, it's totally going to be like. I want the others to hear. Just saying. Do well, to understand. Mm -hmm. um, Stu, can you roll a d24? It's a d24, right? Oh, okay, you've got a choice. Uh, the... Bloody hell. Can you not make it a d20 so I can just click? No, I need you to type. <laughs> forward slash r space 1 d24. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. And now we'll almost get a brilliant roll. Yeah, typical. It depends what you think the roll was for. If you think that's brilliant yeah. or not, I guess, doesn't it? Um, let's see. Yeah. Back guys. So, here's a question, Stu. On your watch, are you going to keep the, the fire going or not? That's a question. That's a very good question. Is there Does any it... reason to keep the fire going just in general for anybody so who'd be keep the fire going at night? That it's was a cold, yeah. I was gonna say it'd be night time because it's yeah. ten o'clock at night because that's why I made you roll E twenty four. Right. Um so really it's just about if it's you night time. Yeah, but it'll be dark. So yeah, right, yeah. So the thing is though most of you see in the dark anyway. I mean, I think you see yeah. the dark, so... All of us can see in the dark, that's what I'm thinking. Are we actually bothered about keeping the fire going at night for heat? I don't think we are. We've all uh, got warm. If we're in our own tents, then... Clothes and so on, and tents and so on. Yeah, no, no fire. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a bad thing to say, but no fire. Mm -hmm. I like fire. That's enough fire talk. <laughs> wow, you really like fire. <laughs> um... Yeah. Did drop, drop, or just move? Hi. Hello Hi. again. Nice to meet you here. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's the case, let me just update this. Just making sure this all matches. And then just wait on this generator character sheet for me. I can probably handle two of those. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I need to be token for a cart because there we are. Cart. Let me generate that just now. And in commoners. What?
What are we doing? I am... Appearing a fight. Hmm, well then. And then I need some blood. I have newt. Mm -hmm. I'm a toad. <laughs> Litter of metal. Of... <laughs> 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 What's inside this thing in kettle? Oh dear. Just pop that in there and then go for power. You're too old for the sing singing kettle, you know? Me? Yeah. No, no I remember the singing kettle. Uh, well, I remember, remember, but my mum's a nursery nurse, so she taught the singing kettle, but other mm. than that. Um, but no, I remember going to the singing kettle. Do you? Right, okay. Do you, do you? Oh, that's popped out over here. Yeah, the singing kettle is badass. I'm guessing you're about 10 years younger than Ryan, though, but I don't know. 10 years younger? I'm 30, mate. <laughs> Where's you, Ryan? 35? How, how dare you? How dare yeah. you, Stu? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be 33 on the 15th of April for everybody oh, listening. Very close. Uh, very okay. yeah. If you want to donate, feel free. Yep, be yep. A good thing to I'll do also it. be 30 yeah. in, um, in May. And I was actually big one, talking to my boyfriend that all of our big plans to celebrate because he's turning 35 like, two days after me. So we had plans to do stuff and obviously they're all going down the drain. Cause... I still get a big bottle of vodka and <laughs> take home <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, just come up to Scotland and we'll just have a, like a massive mama jamma party. But all in like our own isolation suits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could all, I guess, have one of those. What's it called? Um, you know, the dinosaur suits. Yeah, the T-Rex. Oh, ones, the onesies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Well, I am good to kickstart this. So I say kickstart very loosely. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's who? Are we kicking? Could yeah. I get monk robes on a dinosaur? I guess I could. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, let us move everyone here. Dun 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 dun. And then, sadly, Stu was caught off guard on this one. Or Reach, really. It's a kind of weird because they killed two people more or less in front of me as well. Yeah, but okay. But this is what wakes you <laughs> up is the, the people coming yeah. in their car and then just being absolutely like murdered. Um, so, does everybody want to roll initiative? And in fact, Stu, do you want to give me a. What even would it be? Just a dexterity check for me? Alright. I jumped to my feet to think. Just a dexterity check, not the save. Oh, saved. Shit. <laughs> Lol, now you're, you're going to roll left. a one. Dexterity checks on the left, is it? Just yeah, normal. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, oh. Yeah. So you have enough time to react to the point where you can like, wake everybody up. So how does that go? <laughs> is it just kicking them all, or is it quieter <laughs> than that? Nah, kick them all and shout, so everybody's well aware. Right. Ambush! Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't remember how to roll. Now know. keep in mind, people don't sleep in armour. Just gonna put that out there. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, you can uh, have not benefited from your rest. That's how that works, buddy. Okay, armor, armor comes off. Then. Thank you, Crumbar, or no armor, Crumbar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only three of them. How long does it take um, to put armor on? It's ten minutes or some shit like that. Yeah, it's, like it's something. It's yeah. ridiculous. You need yourself some magic on armor. That's what you need. That's a thing. Probably. Surely the elves will know about that. Go visit the elves. They're the exact opposite side of the world you're heading to. <laughs> I thought the elves were beside the dwarves. The dark elves are underground where the dwarves live, yeah. But not with them, if that makes sense. Just they fight over territory. Mm. The actual, like, the elven kingdom is way over uh, the Queenswood, which is, like, the closer to your island that you used to be from. All right. Are we over that way? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
I'm still waiting on Arya to do uh, initiative. Initiative, yes. Sorry, this was not cooperating, and I was also mute. I had to get the. Oh shit! I need to press a token first. My bad. Yeah, I had to make the entire page reset because it was not working with me. Cool. So everybody else that also wears armor, I need you to unequip your armor. Oh shit, that would be me as well. Yeah. And kit list as well. In your equipment, there should be a tick option under your armor if you hit the little oh info gosh, button. It was nice knowing you. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen at exactly measured encounter level where it's probably going to kill you? You know, it'll be totally fine. I mean, I've got eleven. I've still got um, eleven I'm not lie, AC. I'm struggling to figure out how to unequip stuff. Go to your inventory list. Yeah. Highlight your armor, and there's a little eye symbol or a little thing that expands it. Click that. A little circle. Ah. Got it. I could easily the item. Yeah. Yes, my bad. There you go. Thank you. No problem. And we'll take our break here, just ah. because that's a nice place to do that. So we'll see everybody at nine. Goodbye, everybody, for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.